good day on the dairy farm is getting it is getting out of bed going and milking have a share a little bit of a loosen up before I get going and try and walk out of the back door by uh, 3.30 in the morning. Set the dairy up and and turn the lights on, the radio on, call the cows and now I jump in the ute and then head up the factory and, and make myself a coffee on the uh, coffee machine. Now that we've had a coffee machine for the last 15 years up at the factory, um, tend to become a bit of a coffee snob. I, uh, yeah, really look forward to that first one. Head back to the dairy to start milking. Sort of like to have cups on between quarter past and about half past four. Jump on the four-wheeler if the cows haven't made their way back for me. The amount of cows that we milk is, is around about the 330, but not all at one time. But at the moment, there's 286 going through the dairy. You're always checking udders and teats, make sure they're clean. You're looking for cows that have come on heat, that are ready to mate. Our dairy uh, at Roslyn Vale is a 15 unit herringbone, doubled up, so you've got 15 cows being milked on each side. Uh, so yeah, we can sort of milk 30 cows at a time. Our cows are all Jerseys. Jersey milk has a higher fat and protein level. Some people like creamier milk, so they'll buy the Jersey. We use Jersey in the factory to make yogurt because it's higher in fat and protein. takes to milk from the time I leave the house at 3.30, go and get the cows in, milk, clean up. Uh, we're probably finished by about 8 o'clock in the morning. After milking I come, come back up to the factory and, and grab another coffee and catch up with Jeff, partner in the factory, and my dad comes up. He lives in, in the main street of Mopponga, so he comes up and has a coffee every morning with us up at, up at the factory. Make a coffee to take home for Meredy. Grab some breakfast when I get back to the house. Yeah. Thank you. Got the deer next to the house. Um, they came with the farm when we bought it. They've just kept breeding and we've kept feeding them. And kids, kids the kids love, love playing around with them. As the day goes on, something different will happen. Something will happen at the factory, something will go wrong at the farm, or, you know, feed out hay, shift electric fences, there's irrigation. I've got Marcus and Pete working for me, so I can have a bit of, a bit of downtime and have the grandkids up, play around with them, have them out on the farm. In fact, I was brought up on a dairy farm. Our kids were the same. Having your kids grow up on a farm is, is just the best, in my opinion, anyway. Yeah, Elena, she's quite happy to, to play around and feed grain to the calves, and she's having a ball, so it's great. Put my head in most days and, and catch up and just say good day to whoever happens to be around. Afternoon milking, probably head off about 2 to 2.30. Try and have cups on before 3 o'clock, if we can. Oh, I think it's great being a dairy farmer. Maybe I'm biased because I've never done anything else. At my ponga here where we are, it's, it's one of the prettiest spots in the bloody world. So um, peaceful and relaxing, it's great.